Okay, <clears throat> today we're gonna have a little discussion. We're gonna be talking about NOx sensors or NOx sensors. These are the devices that measure the exhaust gases. Um, <clears throat> there's also, I think, a temperature sensor. You have three temperature sensors. So all of that works together. First thing I'm gonna tell you is <clears throat> they all look alike. The, we're gonna basically talk about the early models, uh, 2010 through like about 2018. Uh, around 2015, they went to a square. It's actually like a box, but it's still a four pin wire. So this is a smart device. And what I mean by smart device is you're gonna have battery ground, battery voltage, and then you're gonna have two wires. One's gonna be north of 2.5 volts and the other one is gonna be south of 2.5 volts. If you go to this device and unplug it, you should have 12 volts, uh, battery system and then you should have also um, that other voltage coming out it has to be plugged in to measure you have to go on the back side so don't if you don't have the proper tools to back pin it don't mess with it i mean but anyway that's how you'll know because there is a relay there is a fuse that goes to this circuit we have had guys that have had relays go bad and they lose the knock sensors and then the truck derates or the truck shuts off and they don't know why and it's a knock sensor and then they'll go buy one and they'll put it on and it's still not doing nothing so the easy thing is disconnect it check for battery voltage just you know you disconnect it you can tin, you can pin around and you'll see that it'll have 12 or system voltage 12.75 or whatever the other thing about these is there's different different ones for different brands Cummins comes in all kinds of vehicles, Peterbilt, Kenworth, uh, Freightliner. I mean, you can even get it in an international if you pay for it. So on the back side, there's a part number. You always want to make sure that you get the identical part number. You can, you can, and it has been done where people or accidentally put the outlet knocks right on the, on the inlet position, and it creates all kinds of havoc because it reads different. And, it'll, and, and everybody goes crazy, they don't know what it is, and it's a brand new sensor. And one of the easiest ways to look at it is um, the sheathing on the outlet, which is this protective cover, is different than what it is on the inlet. But again, make sure it's the same number. And also be real careful not to mix them up. The inlet knock sensor is the one right behind the turbo and it's closest to the diesel dozer valve. This one will be on the outlet, it'll be on the tailpipe on the way out. And this is the one that, uh, well for me, is the one I change the most. I don't know why, but this is the one we change the most. Uh, you'll have things like data drift, which is it loses count and, and, and it can't read. And usually I think it's what it is, it's the heat because, which is crazy because, um, well no it's not because the, the the inlet is behind the, the diesel dozer, which it's getting diesel doused on it all the time. Um, I, I think it runs cooler, but I don't know. I've never put an infrared on it. Now, the outlet always gets uh, replaced the most. And one of the things a lot of people do is they try to take it off without cutting the wire. Um, <clears throat> what, what I've always done is I just cut the wire, put a socket over it and get it out. Cause some of these can be tough. And it's easier to do that. Uh, I've never had a problem with my local parts guys uh, taking them back as, as warranty because all they really want is this. You know, they want what's in here and they want what's in here. So, you know, they don't care about the wire. But you can ask them to be specific. You know, don't trust me. Your parts guys might be different than mine. And uh, they won't give you credit if the wire is cut. But I usually cut the wire here, put a socket and get it out. That way you don't have to work on it because you can round it out. I think it's seven eighths and you can round it out um and then right there you can see the the opening where it measures the exhaust gases so anyway knock sensor for cummins and uh, for the most part they all work the same and like i said the biggest thing you need to remember is make sure the numbers are the same and make sure that the sheathing is the same type and then if, if you are having a big problem at the plug you should have battery ground battery voltage and then the other two will be can bus that's what they're called can bus which two 
north of 2.5, south of 2.5, but you can only read it when it's plugged in. And uh, this thing does a lot. It, it really does a lot. So that's why it's on a CAN bus network. And uh, this can also cause, can be part of a problem if you're having a, a CAN bus issue. It can, it normally never does affect the CAN bus, but it, it, since it's part of the run or it's part of the circuit, you need to always keep that in the back of your mind that it can interfere with CAN bus signal at some point. But you would have associated codes that would point you in that direction towards this. Anyway, leave a comment. Uh, appreciate it.